This is a demonstration of how sample rate affects signal to noise ratio. Here we have the MIS 21C array version with the Surfex array probe and a stainless steel calibration plate with EDM notches ranging from 100 to 10 percent depth. To demonstrate how the sample rate affects signal to noise ratio, this plate will be scanned using two different sample rates to compare the data. The MIS-21C has an intuitive interface that is easy to use. The main menu has a list of supported applications. Within the application are the list of techniques for that application. Selecting the technique displays the parameters and their current setting. These parameters can be easily edited by selecting the Edit menu. We will set the sample rate to 150 samples per second for the first scan. Acquisition can be started by selecting the Acquire button. Let's perform a hardware balance, then scan the plate. To review the data, just select the Acquire button again. The data can be adjusted using the touchscreen interface. As you can see, all six EDM notches are easily visible. Let's take a screenshot of this. Now let's change the sample rate and see how that affects the data. Let's scan the plate again. As you can see, the noise level is much higher than before. The background noise is almost as high as the 10% flaw. With noise level as high as this, it is easy to see how a small flaw can be missed. With higher noise level, there is a greater chance of missing small flaws. Therefore, a high sample rate is not necessarily a good thing. What is more desirable is a high signal-to-noise ratio.